It's uh, an honor to be here on this solemn day, indeed a bittersweet day, where we remember those who have given their last full measure of devotion for our safety. We are in the city of Abraham Lincoln, uh, who years ago, more, almost 150 years ago, when he delivered the Gettysburg Address in 272 words, summed up what sacrifice is all about. And I want to say to the families who have lost a loved one protecting us, uh, our faith teaches us that we will see your loved one again and thank them for a devoted life of service. There are no words in the English language or any language to relieve the pain of losing someone so dear to your family, your spouse, your father, somebody who, a son, a uncle, a brother, uh, all of us in Illinois, the family of Illinois, extend our condolences to your family, but also our admiration for your heroic member of your family who's, who gave his life for us in the line of duty. And to all those who are receiving honors today for your bravery, it is so important that we recognize every day how important it is to have the firefighters that we have across our state of Illinois, in every part of Illinois. Whether it's fighting a flood, as some of our firefighters did a week or two ago in deep southern Illinois, or whether it's fighting a fire in any part of this state, or rescuing people in distress, you are our first line of service. And I think it's important to recognize that's what your life is all about. You believe in the ethic of service, that service to others is the rent we all pay for our place on God's earth. And when our men and women who are firefighters every day go to work on our behalf, you take your life in your hands on behalf of serving us. And I think it's especially important that when someone falls in the line of duty, that we the people of Illinois uh, always, always remember and never forget that ultimate sacrifice. Uh, we have to understand, I, I'm sure, that this year in particular, with nine firefighters losing their lives in the line of duty, it's especially important that the people of Illinois not in any way forget that sacrifice, that we always remember how important it is to have men and women who have that heroism, that everyday heroism. Sometimes you hear the word hero bandied about in our society rather carelessly. If you hit a home run in the bottom of the ninth, you're the next day's hero. Or some outrageous celebrity or rock star is called a role model. Those are really not the genuine heroes or role models for all of us and for our children. The men who have given their lives for us and all of the men and women who are receiving awards today, you are our true heroes. You are the role models that we want to uh, tell our children all about. You have lives, devoted lives, of service and helping others. So on behalf of the people of Illinois, on this day, we ask God to bless the immortal souls of those firefighters who have lost their lives in the past year, and we ask God to bless us all. Thank you very much. Firefighter EMT Corey Ankum of the Chicago Fire Department passed away December 22, 2010 at the scene of a structure fire 
As the building collapsed, firefighter Ankum was 34.